Welcome to our presentation. This is what we worked on this week, and it's musical memory. <laughs> so we're, these neuro cadets already had an interest in music. Some of us even play instruments, the drums, the guitar, and that was the main focus of, of our project. We had various questions that we were kind of eager to answer, but there was a main one that remained and answered. So that was the focus of the project. How can music affect our basic physiological markers? Heartbeat, for example. So music can have a massive impact on your emotions. You agree, right? That's why composers add soundtracks to their films. They want us to feel happy and sad and angry or even scared at an exact time. And we've prob probably chosen a music in the past just to trigger a particular reaction in our brain as well. But research also showed that not only music can influence your mood, your mood can also influence the song you choose to listen to, like breakup songs, makes sense, right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, so we were curious to understand how our body responds when we listen to different types of music, happy and sad. So uh, in this way, we intend to study, uh, to study how our body responds when we listen to different kinds of music uh, and how can music influence our physiological markers, such as heartbeat. Due to this, we found a way to measure um, human heartbeat through an ECG, which is an electrocardiogram that records the electrical signal uh, in the heart. Uh, we connected a portable computer, that thing right there, uh, to the Vitaline, <laughs> to the Vitaline, uh, and to the um, electrodes, um, where the electrodes were wired and the graph ECG signals showed up in a monitor. Um, based on previous research, we realized that music and emotions trigger fluctuations in our heartbeat. In light of that, we agreed that using an ECG was the easier way to measure a significant physiological marker. Okay, so what we did was we made a Google Forms uh, a questionnaire and surveyed people here at the Champagne Foundation to to know what were those kind of music that made everyone happy. And those are, were our conclusions. We, the happy song that one was Dancing Queen by Ava, and the sad song was Yesterday by the Beatles. Um, then we started to, we started our, our program, our work, and then we asked our subjects what, which were those kind of musics that made them make them happy and sad, like subjective, their subjective musics. So, um, and th this is what we did, and this is the main the main structure of our of our trial of our of our yeah work. So it started with 60, 60 seconds of silence. Then we had the objective, happy and sad songs, intercalated with thirty seconds of music in between. Then we had the exact same things, but with the subjective songs, also with the 30 second silence in between. And then we had another break of silence of 30 seconds and the medley started. Well, the medley is basically a mix of six musics that is composed by three sad songs and three happy songs. Uh, then we had, a, we had another 30 second silence. So the heart rate can reach again to his baseline. Okay, so now the results. Uh, like Antonio just said, we divided the experiment in uh, sections. So this is the first graph we created. This is the graph for one subject in particular. And uh, so in the y-axis, we have the heart rate in BPMs. And in the x-axis, we have the time in minutes. And so we divide each section by color. So in red, we have the happy objective song that Antonio said. In green, the sad objective song. In black, the happy subjective song. In the blue, the sad subjective, subjective song. And in purple, the medley. Here, these numbers are the average BPMs of each section. And the, as you can see, this, is, this graph doesn't give us a lot of information. The next ones are the ones that give us more information. But here we can see already that the silences are the zones with the lowest BPMs when compared to music where the BPM is higher. 
Okay, so firstly, we decided to compare the silent versus the music periods. Uh, and we have this graph on the X axis, you have the condition, so silence or music. And on the Y axis, you have the difference, the different BPMs from baseline. So basically, uh, because different people have different baselines, we, need, we needed to do the difference between the different parts of the music uh, and the, the starting baseline to be able to better compare each person's result and have a reliable comparison. So each person is a dot and you can clearly tell that the, when the music period is on, the person has a higher BPM. You can also see, see that for just one person on the graph on your right. <laughs> Okay, now, uh, Carolina just talked about silence against music, but now we're going to focus only on music, and we're going to compare music in happy, sad, and the uh, uh, objective and subjective. When I say subjective, it's a subject chosen uh, song, right? So, uh, in blue is the objective, and in orange is the subjective. Here's happy, there's sad. So, as you can see, clearly, when the song is subjective, when it's chosen by the person, and it's not the song's from the, the chart that were globally uh, chosen, uh, you can see that people have a, a lot higher heart, higher heart rate. So what we can do is, is that when songs are emotionally, when we're emotionally attached to songs, we have a higher heart rate because we're, they, have a, they have more meaning for us, we're, we like them more. So it's obvious that the heart rate would be bigger. Higher, higher. Here we are comparing the happy versus the sad songs. At the beginning, we, we expect that the happy songs will, were going to be the ones that increase our heartbeats, but we came in, into the conclusion that the sad ones were the ones that increase our level. And on the right, it's a specific subject. So this is a group graph of just the medley parts, as you can see in the x-axis. You have happy, then sad, then happy, then sad. Um, and the thing different about the medley from the rest of the experiments is that it doesn't have the silent breaks in between. So we wanted to see if there was a big contrast in not having the silence. And as you can see, the heartbeat stays stable throughout the whole thing, always. And each dot, each color dot is a subject and the black line in the middle is the mean. Oh, sorry. Okay, so this is the same kind of graph as the other one. It's just the whole experience. You can see silence, the music, and then the end of the medley. Um, again, the black line in the middle is the mean. And here we wanted to see um, the heartbeat throughout uh, the whole experiment. And you can see that it's increasing. Uh, so maybe, um, um, as you, you saw it earlier, that the subjective uh, heartbeat was higher than the objective, and maybe it's because of this, because the heartbeat was always rising. In conclusion, we came out that on average, the group level's art rates increases when comparing music to silence. The songs that the subjects chosen uh, increase the BPMs. Uh, surprisingly, the subject's art rate was generally higher when listening to sad music. And uh, we noticed the only small difference when observed the medley. Uh, so, uh, throughout our experiment, we obviously came across some limitations. One of them is that different songs have different BPMs. So if we're listening to a more upbeat music that has a higher BPM, our heart increases and that may not have to do with us feeling happier or sadder. Another limitation that we did not take into consideration was that, that different genres of music uh, could influence our heart rate, as you can see in that graph. And if you remember, Jasmine said before that the BPM increases throughout the whole experiment. So when we concluded that the subjective songs have a higher impact on the subject could, ac could actually be misleading, and just because the BPM goes high. Okay, so now we have some photos of our experiment. Right. Uh, you can see that we had a lot of fun. So this is us in one of our uh, meeting rooms where we did the experience. Here in Chipali Mode, the meeting rooms are always full. So we changed the meeting from time to day. And we had a lot of fun. We'll be different in the car, one way or another. Uh, 
Uh, this is that's here between the yoga poses and happy fathers. What is it called, right? Then here uh, we play with yoga balls that we use in the morning stretches. Also, here's Paco. When he goes to our ideas, just like three to hide in the. And then this next quote is Google it, it's a favorite quote. It's a my mind that I always have around it, you can see how I We also would like to, to thank all the TA, especially Pat, Martina, Marcia, Bruno, and Danby, and all for all the equipment and for this great, great, great opportunity. Thank you. Uh, do you have any questions? Yes. I noticed in your data that, and you were surprised as I was, that um, the heart rate seems to spike harder when you're listening to a sad song, a sad song of your choice. I know you guys didn't study all of this like throughout the process, but since you were physically in front of these subjects, did you notice anything different about their body language, about their eyes? It depends. Some people sang. Yeah. Other people, like yeah. People, you know. yeah. Yeah, other people were just still. Other people were nodding their heads. So it's, it was very. Also, nice. because they have to be uh, semi restrained, they had the electrons on their palms, so they couldn't move that much. Uh, but they sometimes they sang. Yeah. yeah. But it was only two people. Yeah. We also saw was that. What we also saw is there was a lot of eye movement. People had to have yeah. their eyes, yeah. eyes closed. Yeah. Or we gave two options. We they could do their eyes closed or with a blindfold. Blindfolded. Yeah. Uh, and when people chose not to wear the blindfold and we could see their eyes closed, their eyes were moving inside. You can see the <laughs> yeah. eye yeah. the eye like <laughs> <laughs> Actually we had some subjects that didn't like music and said that music is yes. Yeah, yeah they like, we specified on the protocol that you should really jam to the music. We said just move your head and body, just mm -hmm. like you want it, just don't move your hands. So if you like people really got into the, that spirit of mind. But some people didn't like music. Some <laughs> people spiked when there was a silence. Yeah. 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 Spiked. So. Maybe they just like. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. That's it. Thank you. Any more questions? No. No. Okay. Yeah.